We've been talking about the spiritual awakening of Manny Pacquiao, and when we talk to this boxing champion turned Bible preaching uh, boxer and a politician in the Philippines, he talks to us about Pastor Jeric Soriano. Pastor, everyone's been um, crediting you for the change that they're seeing in Manny, even Manny himself. I spoke to him not too long ago, and he talked about listening to you and asking you if there's anything in the Bible that he doesn't understand. Well, you know, it's not to my credit. I mean, uh, my galing really is because he's galing. You know, um, uh, God is good. And, and really and truly, all I'm doing is just sharing the Word of God from, from, uh, from the way we see it. And I try to share it as simple as possible so you can understand it. That, that's all it is. And my whole point is that you understand it, you get some knowledge with it, you get some wisdom, and you go with it. You see, the thing is, uh, you don't want to just read the Word. You want to do the Word. And if you can read it and do it, wow, I mean, what an achievement that is. And, and Manny is like that. He reads it and he does it. So it's exciting. Yeah. How did it start? He said it started sometime in December last year. How, why were you a witness to that? Yeah, it started sometime in December. And uh, basically, I got a call, not from Manny, but from a friend who said, Will, are you willing to do a Bible study in Manny's house? And I said, well, yeah, sure. And so when I did the Bible study there, of course, you don't know what's going to happen after, right? You shake hands, you say thank you after, and then you leave. But what happened is that he called me back the next week, and he wanted another Bible study. So, okay, we did another Bible study, and then the same thing. After the Bible study was over, we said goodbye and thank you. And then yet again, he called me the third week. And on the third week, he said to me, he said to me, Pastor Jarek, listen, what you've been teaching me in my house, I need you to come with me to General Santos City and teach that to my family and to my friends. Can you come with me? And I said, okay, how long? He said, five days. Come with me for five days. And, and, and thus, thus, that began the relationship, really and truly. So, yeah. And you see that he's very committed, although despite that, a lot of people are still questioning his sincerity. Some people are saying maybe it's for politics, maybe it's for, you know, different things. Right. Well, you know, um, I'll tell you something, Janelle. If this was for politics or if this was a front or this was a facade, I'll be honest with you, if this was not the real thing, I checked out day one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I checked out early in the game because what, what am I doing wasting my time? You know, I, I, I don't need to be here. If this is a fake thing, I, I'm not. I'm just wasting my time. So between you and me, I'm seeing the real thing. Why am I saying that? Because I see fruits. I see, I see a passion. I see a hunger. And I see the real thing. And even I was amazed. Uh, this wasn't supposed to be recorded. It was just a light moment with Manny hanging out with him. But the reporter in me wanted to document this so I can show this to you, how he is with the Bible. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Okay, I mean, born again. Tayo kasi, we have a body, soul, and spirit. Yeah. So, body, soul, and spirit. So, when, <clears throat> pag pinanganak tayo, is a, yan, is born of, born of physical body. Born of physical body, okay? Because of sin, di ba, nagkakasala tayo, your spirit is not alive. Sin natin. Di ba, nagkakasala. Tapos, uh, <clears throat> that's why Jesus Christ said, to enter the kingdom of heaven, you have to be born again. Born again is not about the church or, or the religion. It's about your spirit to become alive. Because we cannot see, we cannot see the kingdom of God unless we are born again. Born of spirit. Listen mm dito, -hmm. born of spirit. Water in the spirit. Ayan. So, so kasi, bakit, in short na lang ha, bakit uh, God required required us to, to to be born again. Born again, this means born of spirit. Your spirit is alive. So how... And how do you... Okay, okay. How do you... Oh, okay, how do you okay. Keep the spirit alive? We feed our physical body. This is our physical body in this in soul, right? Ang, ang soul natin is that yun yung mga senses natin, yung makaamoy tayo, makapatramdam tayo ng ano, di ba? Yan, yan. We feed, we eat this food, for our physical body we feed. But how about our spirit? Our spirit is, by the words of God, we're feeding our spirit. When we read the Bible, when we read the words of God, every day, day and night, so our spirit will become alive. We're feeding our, our, uh, our uh, spirit. So when our spirit is alive, then um, lahat ng gagawin mo, all things you do, is right. It's perfect because the spirit 
Amen. The spirit alive is, is perfect. Why he required us to, to have a live spirit? Okay. The, the, the fruit of the spirit, number two, okay. okay. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, uh, faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. Yes, amen. Yun yung ano, yun yung ano. If, if you don't have a live spirit, you don't have love. You don't have joy. You don't have peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen. Yeah, I agree. So, um, so when you re- when you read the Bible, when you read the Bible, you're feeding your physical, uh, your, your spirit. Your spirit. Oh, spirit. Because your, when you eat this food, you're feeding your physical body. Yeah. But that's temporarily. But the words of God is, so para for how powerful the words of God. Remember on, um, in full full armor of God. Yeah, yeah, I know that, I know that. Okay, this one, oh. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So, when you read the Bible every day, when you read the Bible, when you read the Bible every day, you're feeding your spirit. Your spirit is eternal food. This is eternal food. Ayun na po ang bahalang humusga, words of wisdom from the Bible through Manny Pacquiao. Thank you so much for joining us today on the show. More tomorrow, join us.